Greetings. Today I want to speak to you concerning the richest or greatest wealth. And when it comes to speaking about the richest wealth, some might be thinking about oil or some mineral that is in the earth. Others might be thinking in terms of stocks and bonds. Others might be thinking in terms of Bitcoin and all the other creative things that are here that people look to as riches. But today I want to share with you how the richest wealth or the greatest wealth is wisdom. And this is cl clearly shown to us in the story of Solomon, where it says that Solomon seek for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and he was given great wealth. So, my brother and my sisters, what am I really saying to you? I am saying to you that wisdom is the principal thing, and that you must seek to get wisdom. And wisdom correlates with faith also because you need to hear, you need to be informed, you need to have some form of awareness in order to tap in to true wisdom because it's only until you apply the knowledge that you would have attained because you believe in what has been said to you or what you would have looked at around you because you are observant and you learn to follow your heart or your gut feeling. And so applying what you learn to have your own experience is what would really teach you that wisdom is the richest wealth or the greatest wealth that you can attain and that's why you should seek first wisdom so when you're told in Matthew 6 33 to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you it is teaching you how to seek wisdom and there's no greater wisdom that you should seek than the wisdom of self. Self-knowledge. So my brother and my sisters, when you seek after wisdom, then money will follow you. Money will become your servant. And that is why when you look at the richest people in the world, you see that they don't work for money. Money work for them because they realize that money is their servant and they are not the servant of money. And it is because of the discovery of the true intelligence that is within. So wisdom is the most important thing. It is the greatest and richest wealth that you can discover. So my brother and my sisters, this message is basically saying to you that all wealth and all riches is within you, but in order for you to tap into such wisdom, you would have to reprogram your subconscious mind from your old programming of doubt and fear in other words the way how you were raised from a child and the thing that you were raised to believe about yourself those things would have to be erased if you really want to tap in to your true riches if you really want to tap in to the richest world or the greatest world which is wisdom okay so there must be a process of unlearning and relearning to be able to grow and expand with the new wisdom that you would come into and so my brother and my sister i just want to say to you that the chief systems 
that have been placed here on this earth to keep you away from discovering this riches, riches wealth, which is wisdom, is the school system, the political system, and the religious system. Because all of these systems, they are competing for your mind to keep you controlled so that you will not be able to think for yourself and tap into your wisdom because wisdom goes along with wealth and riches. When you tap in to true wisdom, this is you finding El Dorado, the city of gold. This is you finding the pearl of great price. This is you finding the real gold mine. So, my brother, my sisters, each and every time I speak to you and encourage you to believe in yourself and to love yourself and to accept yourself, it is because I would have seek wisdom all my life. I wasn't seeking riches. I wasn't seeking fame. I would always ask for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding because the very first thing I did as a little boy growing up is I beat my chest and I asked myself, who am I? And I did it with tears in my eyes, questioning myself and asking myself, who am I? Why am I really here? What I'm here for? What's the reason of me living here and this earth from a very young boy? So my whole ambition throughout life wasn't to attain certain things in this life to impress the rest of society. It's always seeking to know who am I. And that's why I was able to do videos for you concerning the universal question of life is who am I? And when the answer comes, it must be I am that I am, which is to say I am whatever I believe myself to be for as a man thinketh in his heart so is he so my whole journey to self-discovery started from a very 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 young age and that is why i tap into certain wisdom and i'm saying to you wisdom is the principal thing wisdom is the key that you can open up the treasures of heaven and that's why you're told that i will open to you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you would not have room enough to store that blessing all of that blessing that the Bible is speaking about in Malachi 3 and 10, it's all culminated in wisdom. It's all right there in the secret of Solomon. And as I always say to you, Solomon is son man, the son in man, the light that is within man. And so when you discover this light that is within you, you discover the intelligence that can create all things. So true riches lies in wisdom so my brother and my sisters there always must be the first born from the dead there must be always one who would tap in to that kind of experience before you and that's why you're told unless a kind of wheat fall in the ground and dies it abides alone but if it dies it bears forth much fruit and that's why i'm saying to you my brother and my sister if you are listening to me you have to bring forth fruit because I know of what seed I am of. I know I'm not here theorizing to you. I know I'm here speaking of what I would have experienced that brought me into a place of great wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And it has always been my desire. And I can truly tell you, when you tap into this kind of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, there's nothing that anyone can do or say in this world that can stop you from reaping the harvest of wealth and prosperity in your life because you have found the key. The key to your own treasure. The key to your own riches. That is why you're told that there is a well of living water that is springing up in you. And until you come in contact with your Christ self, your higher self, the one who can tell you all that you have done and tell you how many, how many, how many husbands you had before, how many things you tried before, how many things you were attached to before, looking for happiness, looking for joy and peace, looking for contentment. So you marry yourself to these things, you're attached to these things, but never realize the one who can give you 
living water springing up inside of you. This water is the wisdom that will produce all riches and all freedom. It's called the law of liberty, whereby you must and will all be set free. So my brother and my sisters, that's why I always encourage you to look inwardly and always teach you that your real identity is your divinity. And let me come to close here also by reminding you that's the reason why I always teach you that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. For the Bible is not literal, neither is it secular history. The Bible is a book of mind science. But in all, what I'm saying to you, seek after wisdom first. Seek after wisdom first. Lean not to your own understanding. But in all of their ways, acknowledge who? Not a man 2,000 years ago. Acknowledge him. That him is a personification that represents your own imagination, which is the creator in man. Acknowledge your creative power. Acknowledge the creator that is within you. Acknowledge the fact that you can only suffer two ways, which is physical or psychological. Remember that your spirit having a human experience. Remember that everything must first be a thought. Everything must first be an idea. Everything must first be imagined. Even the words that I'm speaking to you, a word is a thought expressed. Everything is an expression of a thought. So my brother, my sisters, you must discover the mind and how the mind works. You must discover the law of mentalism. So those of you who have tapped into this frequency, you are the ones who've been looking deeply and who've been seeking for meaning in, in your life. Man, search it for meaning. I think uh, there's a guy named Victor Frank who wrote a book like that. And I'm saying to you, you've been searching all your life for yourself. And when you discover yourself, you will discover the true wisdom of the ages. You will discover what the sages and the yogis and the prophets and the mystics have discovered all down through the ages. So my brother, my sisters, everything that I'm saying to you, it is because of my experience of searching for my true identity since I was a little boy. I'm always seeking for nothing else in this world but for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I'll never ever lie to you. Whenever you see I come before a camera and speaking to you, my brother, my sisters, it's because of what I would have experienced in my own life. It is because I've been searching for answers from since I was a little boy in my life. And that is why the things all around me that I can have now easily and effortlessly them doesn't mean that much to me like they might mean to other people because it was never my ambition to gravitate towards these things my thing is that i wanted answers for the questions that i have had because i was a very observant young man growing up with a lot of questions so my brother my sisters now your questions have been answered i'm saying to you use the wisdom which I am sharing with you by applying it in your life. They say knowledge is power, but knowledge is not power unless it's been applied. So apply it in your life. Remember, imagination creates reality and that you can create your reality consciously. So with that being said, my brother, my sister, I want to thank you very much. You know, I feel like go on and on and on with this message, but I know I have to come to a close because I believe I've given you more than enough to chew upon. And so I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you listen to me, what I'm saying, it makes sense to you, it really resonates with you. I would like to say, if you haven't subscribed already, I'm encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, uh, to share this video. Also, if you haven't started following me already on Instagram, I'm encouraging you to follow me on Instagram at Black Mad Guru. Also, if you would like to donate to this work because you feel very much led to do so, we have a PayPal and the link is down below. Feel free to check it out. 
Also, I have a patron, and if you would like to become uh, a patron, feel free to do so as long as you feel really led to do so. We have a lot of good work on it, and I'm gonna continue to keep posting up on it, you know, and continue to enrich your minds with the wealth of wisdom. Also, we have on that uh, Patreon uh, a course called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to Create Your Reality Consciously or the Inner Sun Engineering to Create Your Reality Consciously. And it's all about teaching you how to align with the sun that is within you, which is the light that is within you, of which the Bible speaks of in Psalms 84 11, when it says, The Lord their God is a sun, a S U N, and a shield, and no good thing with you withhold from you. Common sense will teach you that the sun has never withhold any good thing from humanity, for the sun will pause all of humanity and give all of humanity its energy. Also, I teach you that the sun, the S-U-N, parallels the human imagination, the human imagination parallels the sun. For without the sun, there is no life, and there is no light, and without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And even the Bible tells you also that the sun of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings. And that is in Malachi chapter 4 and verses 2. Therefore, healing and righteousness is a discovery that you will discover that is within you. And when you discover that intelligence, when you discover that wisdom of the ages, as I said before, you will bring healing not just to yourself only, but to the rest of humanity. So feel led to, if you feel led to check it out, my brother and my sister, I encourage you to do so. Because especially in this time when we're living, when they want to black out the sun, they want to dim the sun, after they would have given you an S-O-N to believe in as the savior of the world and the light of the world. But how can an S-O-N exist unless there first be the S-U-N? So you think upon that, my brother and my sister, ask yourself the question, why they want to dim the sun and they want to black out the sun around this time when there's a great, great mass awakening that is happening on the earth. Okay, so with all of that information, I want to say thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.